Today we discuss blue tongue in sheep. It's a viral disease transmitted by insects. Welcome, I'm Dr. Danny Woodendahl. So as we said, it's a viral disease. It's transmitted by insects. So we see it as a problem in late summer and in autumn. Right now, when we have a peak in the insect population, that is when we see blue tongue. So farmers would like to know what blue tongue look like. Basically, the sheep become sick. You don't want to move. All the feet are affected. If you inspect the feet, you will see there's red lines where the skin join the hoof and there's a major inflammation. That is why the sheep are crippled. But there's a lot of other things. The head can be a little bit swollen or just the tongue or the, or the lips. If you open up the mouth, you will see the sores on the inside of the mouth. And then especially the hard palate. There's sores there and the sheep can't eat. It can't pluck up the grass. That is the reason why sheep lose such a lot of condition. Apart from that, there's inflammation inside that you can't see uh, due to this virus and the lesions it caused, and especially inflammation in the lungs, which can lead to pneumonia uh, as well and, and death in the sheep. Usually a lot of sheep don't die. A lot of them do very badly. They lie down for a week of two and that come back to the type of treatment that we can do in sheep. There's no primary treatment. There's no treatment that can stop the virus. The only thing that we can do is to keep the sheep alive through the use of antibiotics, that there's no secondary infection. The antibiotics can't kill the virus, but it makes sure that you don't get pneumonia. We can use injectable anti-inflammatory products that's available from the veterinarian to take the pain and the inflammation away that the sheep feel better and we can give soft food uh, to, the, to the sheep. That's what we have to do. The only way in which the sheep then recover from this disease is if it builds up immunity. This disease is one of the diseases that we have to vaccinate for before the rainy season. We have to follow the instructions very well. It's a difficult disease to control by vaccination because there's so many different strains that can cause this disease uh, in South Africa. So vaccination, discuss that with your veterinarian, especially in the young sheep, the sheep after weaning. That is the most susceptible group. Uh, the sheep that's also most susceptible is our wool sheep, our, our sheep that's not indigenous to South Africa they're more susceptible than, than our indigenous sheep. So work with a veterinarian, do the vaccination, do it properly, keep record. And if there's still a problem after vaccination, speak to your vet again that we can collect samples and make sure that the strain that you have that's causing blue tongue is also included in the vaccine. I just want to thank our sponsors, uh, King Price Insurance, uh, as well as designed by Logix that produce vaccines for sponsoring these programs uh, that we can bring it to you as farmers. So farmers that want more information can send me a WhatsApp to number 072-377-4423 if you want more information about the treatment of this disease that we're dealing with today.